there's a paper that just came out which basically shows that gene editing can also introduce not only antibiotic resistance genes but also DNA, random DNA from E. coli, right? Also random DNA from the, the cell culture medium that the, uh, the cells are kept in. This paper has found that when you gene edit mouse cells, you know, the, the intended change is a single base pair or a couple of base pair alterations. What they found in these mouse cells is many of them contain just random DNA from the E. coli genome. And they're basically they're purifying the machinery of gene editing <laughs> from an E. coli bacterium and they think they're just bringing into the cell and, and exposing the cell to this, to this machinery but actually there's all this contaminating DNA from E. coli, right? This is one issue. The second source of contaminating DNA is the cell culture itself. These mouse cells are being kept in a medium which is composed in part of fetal serum. Okay, fetal serum derived from cows. Okay, these are unborn calves that are basically harvested for biological material, and this biological material contains cow DNA, right? Which is no surprise, but this is in the medium that's being used to edit the, the mouse cells, and the cow DNA is getting into the mouse cells. Right? When you do gene editing, you make cuts in the genome and the genome tries to repair itself and it will take any DNA from anywhere to do that. If you cut a piece of DNA in a cell, the cell goes into crisis mode because basically what you've done is you've cut one of its chromosomes in half. Okay, And that is a life-threatening event. Basically, if the cell at that point tries to divide, a large fraction of the genome will basically be missing and you will create dysfunctional cells as a consequence, cancerous or dysfunctional cells. So the cell is desperate to repair it and it will use any DNA and the only DNA that's being supplied by these companies is either is basically by accident, right? Random DNA from E. coli, random DNA from the culture fluids or random DNA from the plasmids that are being used to create the editing so machine. So the plasmids, sometimes they'll put their genes that they want to insert on there on circular pieces of DNA and they'll stick it in there hoping that just what they want to get in integrated gets integrated, but sometimes the entire sequence that's normally in a circle gets integrated into the DNA, into that split point, which is what they found in the that, hornless that cattle. That is what the FDA found. Yeah, in the yeah, hornless yeah. cattle, it's like, wait yeah. a minute, these round DNA, they're not supposed to be in cattle. They're, they're, they're bacterial DNA, they're not supposed to be in cattle. And not only that, but the antibiotic-resistant gene, which was part of that circle, those got in there too. 